Great Sand Dunes National Park offers rich opportunities for learning due to its rich scenery, abundant wildlife, and constantly shifting sh sands. Two opposing natural forces constantly circulate sand through this unique natural system. Wind is the driving force. It brought the sand here, it built the sand dunes, and it keeps the sand dunes where they're at. Strong northwesterly winds through much of the year push the sand up toward the San De Cristo Mountains. Later in the summer, spring storms and summer storms drive winds through the mountain passes, pushing the sand backwards along the same path that it came from. Water from melting snow off the nearby San De Cristo Mountains fills Mendano Creek seasonally, peaking in the early spring and slowly dying off through the rest of the summer. One of the most unusual features of the park happens at Medano Creek, which borders the east side of the dunes and is located near the visitor center and bookstore. Because fresh sand continually falls in the creek, Medano Creek never finds a permanent and stable stream bed. Small underwater sand dunes act like dams continually form and break down, and so waders and visitors to the stream see surges, which look like waves of flowing water downstream. These happen at intervals of anywhere from just a few seconds to a minute or more. During high water periods, these surges can be as much as a foot in height. However, most of the year, the creek is only a few inches deep and provides little resistance to visitors crossing the creek heading for the sand dunes. In the summer, intense thunderstorms can change the level of the creek within just minutes. What's filling the hole? What? What's filling the hole? Water. Why? Because the water's traveling through underneath. Watching the surge flow come down Mindano Creek and constantly reshape the, the creek, where the water flows, how deep it is, and how many ridges and ripples appear is a constantly changing and a fascinating thing to watch. The amount of sand and sediment being carried by the shallow waters of Mindano Creek is truly amazing. As fascinating as the ever-changing creek is, many visitors simply stop to have fun, build a sandcastle, and play for a while. The water in Mindano Creek is only one important element to keep this very stable system alive and thriving. But water is only half the story. Up in the dunes, the wind rules, always.
It is very easy to experience the dune building process. This is a very windy region, as hikers on the dunes will attest to. On many days, hikers will be pelted by sand and even small rocks when hiking the upper dunes. The wind carries sand and rocks from many mighty miles away. While the dunes don't change location or size that often, they are still subject to the ever-shifting winds. The relentless winds at the top of the dunes prevent most plant life from growing anywhere in the dune field. Relief from the stinging sand in the wind can be had only by leaving the dune field, crossing Mindanao Creek, back to the lush prairie setting near the visitor center. Most visitors are surprised to learn that the sand remains wet just a few inches below the dune field. Summer storms bring much needed water to Mindano Creek and green up the prairie in the visitor center area. Park headquarters and the visitor center offer an opportunity to learn much more about the ever-shifting sands through exhibits about the rocks and the processes that have developed this area. There is even a junior ranger program for those young scientists in your family. When you're done learning the science of this unique area, don't forget to have some fun. It is a giant sandbox after all. <laughs>